As you can see from the previous session, no matter your level of experience, we've got something for you on Google Cloud. Maybe you've never built a machine learning model before, or maybe you're a hardcore ML expert. We have a spectrum of machine learning offerings, from products targeted toward application developers with little or no machine learning experience, to tools for folks with much more machine learning expertise. We have three main machine learning products, machine learning APIs, AutoML, and ML Engine. Let's get a quick taste of each section, starting with machine learning APIs. Our ML APIs make it easy to add machine learning to your app with a single REST API request. No ML expertise or training data required. We've got five APIs to help you with common ML tasks. Analyzing images, analyzing video, converting audio to text, analyzing text, and translating text into over 100 languages. ML APIs are a great way to get up and running with ML quickly. But what if you need to customize them with your own data? That's where our newest addition to cloud machine learning comes in. Cloud Auto ML. Announced in beta at Next, Auto ML lets you train vision, natural language, and translation models with your own data. No model code required. I'm really excited about Auto ML because it makes custom models accessible to anyone, regardless of their machine learning expertise. With vision, you can deploy a model that can detect, for example, the type of cloud in an image. Well, you could use the vision API to tell you an image has a cloud, we wouldn't expect it to identify the scientific name of a cloud type. This model can classify five different types of clouds. AutoML Natural Language lets you build a custom text classification model trained to your own text data. For example, you can use a data set from the nonprofit Donors Choose, which matches teachers who need resources for their classroom with interested donors. With AutoML NL, you can then build a model to categorize need requests from teachers into categories so that donors can be easily matched with the types of projects they're interested in. AutoML Translate lets you build domain-specific translation models for translating industry-specific jargon and linguistic nuances. There are many instances where the Cloud Translation API will work just fine, but certain cases require a translation model trained to your own custom data. For example, let's say I see the following error message on my machine. I can summarize it as, the driver's not working. What if I need to translate this summary? In our case, we know this refers to software. But taken out of context, the translation is ambiguous. It could be referring to a broken golf club. The driver club isn't working. The same sentence could also refer to a taxi driver who's on strike and therefore not working. A base model wouldn't know which domain this referred to, and this is where a custom model comes in handy. I'm really excited about AutoML because it makes custom models accessible to anyone, regardless of their ML expertise. But there are cases where you have a custom task and need more control over the type of model you're using and the inputs to that model. That brings us to the third ML offering, Cloud ML Engine. Cloud Machine Learning Engine is a managed platform for training and serving your own custom models. It supports models built with TensorFlow, Keras, Scikit-Learn, and XGBoost. You can leverage ML Engine's GPUs and TPUs to train models, and you can deploy your models to ML Engine for serving. At Google, we are constantly thinking about how to create new, flexible tools with easy deployment that meet the demands of multiple platforms, and then share our findings with the broader community. In 2015, we open sourced TensorFlow, a machine learning framework for learning and production. And in that same year, we open sourced gRPC, a framework for handling remote procedure calls. Next up, Unju San will talk about gRPC and using protocol buffers for client-server communication with Golang. Keep watching and see how you can apply these techniques with your microservices framework.